What's up guys, it's your boy Alan Wade. Thank you so much for joining me and today we're gonna to be opening up this box right here and seeing what's inside. These are some step rails for our 2020 Jeep JL Wrangler. Um, can you guys pronounce that name? Odro? Oedro? Let me know down in the comments below if you guys can pronounce that name for me. But for now, let's open it up and see what's inside. Step rails themselves and instructions, I'm assuming, and a parts box. Parts box, step rails, and instructions. All right, so let me just open this up real fast so we can examine what's inside, guys. I'll tell you what I like about these already. All right, when you get them on the bag, it says what side they go on. Like right here, for example, First of all, I love this outline right here with the company's name. And then it says passenger side right here. So you know that this goes on a passenger side. And on the other one, it says driver side. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Right here, it says driver side right here. So guys, right underneath your truck and right behind the front tire, all right, you're gonna come right over here and you're gonna you're gonna need a, what's this, a 13 inch socket. Put that in and that's gonna fit. You're gonna take that off right there. You're gonna take another one off right next to it. 13 inch socket. And then you're gonna take another one off right there. It's three of them. One, two, and three. All right, all right, let's do it. I'm gonna go righty tighty, lefty loosey. So this way. Easy. Very easy. That is unbelievable how easy that was. So guys, after you take off this, which requires a uh, 13 millimeter, you're also gonna have to take off 10 millimeter right here, 10 millimeter right here, and so on and so forth. 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter, and 10 millimeter. All right, well, no, not, not, the, not this one. 10 millimeter and the other 10 millimeter on the other side. All right, so uh, let me get to it. After you take it off, you realize how flimsy these originals are. They just come right off and they're so light. It's just crazy how light they are. Same thing with this side. Once you get all the screws out, they just come right off that easy. Simple and easy. Oh, these things are so light and so cheap. Now, let me show you guys exactly how this was put on. I literally took this from under here, those bolts to the frames, and took these two from off of here, all three of them, and this came off. And literally, I'm going to put them back. I assume I could use these, but I'm assuming that inside of the box has heavy duty ones for um, something that's more substantial and something that's heavy, like this big metal versus this little plastic. So uh, I'm going to go inside the box and see what we got. All right. So in this pack right here, we got lock washers, nuts, bolts and screws. Really self-explanatory but we're going to look at the instructions to make sure we put on the right things with the right things all right so lock washers nuts bolts and screws we just got to make sure we put them on the wrong part the right parts um so i'm going to put them all together so i can make this a quick and easy mount for myself all right guys so we're going to put these together like this for both sides all right so on this part guys it's a little tricky a little tricky you got this part right here with the square nut thing right here all right I'm <laughs> I'm not really good at this but you gotta go in here boom you're gonna put this onto the truck then you're gonna go on the other side flat washer all right spring washer and then this washer all right so in this order all right 
flat washer on the flat side to the body of the back of the truck, underneath the truck, spring washer, then that washer, all right? And this right here goes straight inside the truck, all right? All right, let's do it. I just want to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about so it's dummy proof. You see the screws right here? They went straight into the body, inside the hole of the tube, into the body of the truck. Then on the back side, I'm gonna put in this flat washer right here. Flat washer on the flat side, on the flat side. Little small spring washer, lock washer on that, all right? And then the regular washer, hand tighten it, all right? So you're gonna hand tighten two, four, six, all right, six of them. Hand tighten so that you can like move them around and stuff like that. And then when all six of them are on, that's when you go ahead and you uh, tighten it up all the way with your, with your uh, tools, all right? So let me do that. And so I go on this side, flat side, flat washer, lock washer, regular washer. We're good to go. All right, good to go. Now I'm gonna tighten them up all the way. Big bolt, lock washer, all right? And then washer up into the, uh, the, the, the bottom of your truck, okay? Underneath the step rail. So it's gonna look like this. Bolt, wash, lock washer, washer up into the truck, all right, underneath. All right, guys, there you have it. We got the step rails fully installed on the 2020 Jeep JL, looking crazy. I love it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. These step rails make the factory wheels look horrible. So now we definitely have to upgrade our wheels ASAP. Amazon links down in the description below. Great product. I love it. Glad I got them. Wow. Amazing, let me step on them. Nice. All right guys, so there you have it. Really easy install. It took me quite a bit of time because obviously I don't install step rails all the time. This is actually my, actually my second time because I had a Dodge Ram. That, anyway guys, yeah. So they look great. Uh, I love the red accents on them. And um, yeah, if you're in the market for them, down description down below, Amazon links down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this install. I hope you guys understood how you line up the washers and everything because that's crucial, but it's, it's fairly easy, all right? So thank you guys for watching and thank you for the step rails. Talk to you guys on the next one. It's your boy, Alan Wade. Peace.